everybody welcome back to my channel welcome to another grocery haul in today's grocery haul you're going to see smaller items in the haul and that is because i only went to two places however i might add a place to this haul i'm not quite sure there are a few other things that i need but i might be able to hold out what you're looking at are grocery items from Safeway and from Food Lion. And so we're going to start right here at Food Lion. I'm going to start with my free item first. This was the Real Mayo by Kraft. When I checked out, I received a um, list of coupons like this, and one of them was for a this free jar of mayonnaise, so I went back to get it. I also picked up plum tomatoes. These tomatoes were on sale for 89 cents per pound. I picked up grapes. Grapes were on sale for $1.99 cent per pound. Got a good deal on both of those. Those grapes are huge. I also picked up the coleslaw right here. I'm planning to make hot coleslaw and cold coleslaw from this particular bag. So I'm going to fry up some, and then I'm going to make a salad out of some. And this was $2.39, not on sale. This was on a good clearance, the ground chicken breast. This was on sale for $2.99, and I saw in somebody else's YouTube video where they made um, chicken meatballs, and they look so really, really good that I want to try to make meatballs from this tray. I also picked up the banquet pies here. These were on sale five for five, and I had never seen the sausage and gravy deep dish, so that looked interesting. I picked that one up. This was also one I had never seen, the apple pie, also a dollar, and then I picked up three of the chicken pot pies to give to my son. You see these all the time in my haul. Also, uh, this was on a great clearance. This is the classic guacamole for $2.39. Also, these extra sweet nibblers by Green Giant. They were on sale for $3.99. I love corn in the summertime, so I'm probably going to use these and make like a Mexican corn from them. These two coffees were excellent buys. This one was $2.25 on clearance, and so was this one, $2.25. So I picked up a hazelnut cream and a vanilla, vanilla caramel. And so these are both iced coffees. I like iced coffee in the summer also. Moving on down, uh, Food Lion had a good sale on the, the, their Tyson products. So I picked up the country fried steak and the air fried chicken nuggets. These were both $5.99 per bag. Picked up Grand's biscuits. These were two for $6. And then the last thing I picked up was these twisted pretzel sticks and the nacho cheese flavor. These are by Snyder's. I absolutely love Dots pretzels but I'm looking for an alternative because they are so expensive and I eat them. I, they're just delicious. It's my favorite, favorite snack. That and a little bit of sharp cheddar cheese cubed. So, so good. It tastes like a meal. But the last bag I bought was $7 and I can't keep doing that. So this was on sale for $3.49, and the regular price is like $3.99, so I'm hoping I'll like these. So yes, everyone, this is everything from Food Lion for $48.13. Let's move on around to Safeway. At Safeway, I spent a total of $28.01. But there's something I need to take back and get about close to $2 back. Um, and let's start with that. This was the minced ginger. It, <clears throat> excuse me. It was on sale for $2.99, but the sale price did not come off. So I ended up paying $5.29. I'll take that back 
with my receipt and get the difference. The Borson uh, cheese spread here, they were on sale for $3.99, so that was a really good price on this. There's so many recipes using this Borson, but it's just ridiculously expensive. So I picked it up at $3.99. I picked up on the Digital Deal uh, cherries, black cherries, for $2.99 per pound. I think I ended up paying $1.55 for that little bag. Also, the watermelon, no special price, but it looks really good. And this time of year, I only buy cut watermelon because I can actually see it. This was $5.99. Safeway had a clip deal, a digital deal also on the Fresh Express Chop Kits. These were, you could get one bag for $2.25. So you saw this in my haul last week as well. This French Bistro, at the time I had not tried it, but this particular one may be better than my standard one. But I still picked up two, $2.25 on this one. And then I picked up the Bacon Thousand Island, which is so, so good. Check my bit video, a um, few videos back. You'll see that this was one of the meals that I prepared and shared on that video. Next on clearance was this Pick Sweet, um, I'm sorry, yeah, Pick Sweet Farms Seasoned Southern Cooking Baby Lima Beans. And these are, again, pre-seasoned, ready in 20 minutes. And so I picked this up because it was on clearance for $1.94. I also picked up the Golden Crispy Crowns. All right of products were on sale for $3.50. So I couldn't resist that. And this is probably the best deal in the haul. I have Duncan Hines. I have Pillsbury. I have Betty Crocker. So let's start right here with what the deal is. So on these lemon, lemon poppy seed muffin and quick bread mix, this was on clearance for $1.04. And, and then all of the box cake mixes right here, they were on sale for $0.74. Cents. That looks so good. So you can see I picked up the triple chocolate fudge. I picked up the party rainbow chip. And I picked up the carrot mix. On the frostings, I picked up a dark chocolate fudge, whipped fluffy white frosting, frosting and the caramel latte. And the frostings were on sale for $0.84. Cents. Per container so we are well stocked for the summer on sweet treats and so yes everyone this is everything from Safeway for a total of $28.01 keep watching for a meal I'm going to share in the hall and also for my meal plan here is the meal we're having from items in the hall this is a lovely looking plate Let's start right here with this sandwich. It looks amazing. These are the honey butter biscuits that you saw in the haul. Then I also have the Tyson's steak. I plopped that in the air fryer for about eight minutes. And then we also put the Golden Crowns by Arita in the, in the air fryer as well. Only eight minutes. Easy, easy. And then also the cut watermelon that I had. This is actually topped with chia seeds. I always top it with chia seeds, maybe a little mint, uh, just to give it some extra fiber, extra, uh, the mint helps to settle the food. And yeah, everyone, this is my meal that I am about to have. I'm super hungry. It's 1230 and I haven't had a meal yet, so I can't wait for this. Here is our menu for the week. On Monday, we're going to have chicken and spinach meatballs. Tuesday, shrimp quesadillas. Wednesday, ribs and mac and cheese and coleslaw. Thursday, frozen pizza and salad. Friday, we're going to do breakfast for dinner. We'll probably have hash browns, kielbasa, eggs, and biscuits. 
Then Saturday, our usual eat out. And on Sunday, some type of crock pot meal. I haven't decided what I want to cook yet, but I'll put it together as we get closer to Sunday. And so, yes, everyone, this is everything for my haul today and in my meal plan and my sharing of what I ate. And with that, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much again for clicking on, for watching, for commenting. And until the next haul, everyone, bye-bye.